feel like a right bird, to be honest. Welcome everyone to an extreme episode of Robbie's Canal videos. I hope you appreciate how much of an idiot I look with this thing. I mean, look at me. This is, we've gone pro, this is it. We've gone pro, guys. This is it. Okay, all this is thanks to you at home. Everyone that's donated. just come down the Bingley Five Rise and uh, I didn't enjoy using the GoPro the first time because it just felt like it was just a camera that was always there, always on and I think the, the CRT guys are actually opening all the locks they felt a bit self-conscious as well so it just kind of felt a bit awkward. Going pro is hard guys. So now we've done the Five Rise, there's actually another one we have to do just called a Three Rise so it's just three locks together uh, which we're just about to come across now and hopefully these guys will not be that fed up with me that they'll actually come open the, the lock gates as well. But I think we'll abandon the GoPro for now until I've actually worked out a better way of using it. As we're coming into the free rise now, let's take a, let's take a look at Bingley and see who's in the pub of the week. Pub of the week. Welcome to my pub of the week, uh, which is Chip and Earn. Is that what you call it? Chip, yes, that's right. Chip and Earn. I'm here with Christian, who oh, is also a well respected actor as well. But yeah, so we're here after hours, and um, there's no one in the pub, so we can get a good old look at it. It's, it's all local ale, isn't it? And local beers. Yeah, everything's within a five mile radius. That's, that's, that's a lie. <laughs> most, most of it's within a five mile radius. This is just a selection of a few of the beers they had on when I was in there. If you were there today, you'd find a completely different selection. 
you've got wines coming out of barrels, and I think that's pretty good. And a crocodile, for some reason, it's just... With him, it's a caiman. It's not a crocodile. He was being racist, Christian. Chuck him out. There's loads of these... Um, Crazy animals, sort of like, uh, you can't really tell if it's real because a lot of them are coated in paper mache. Um, in that man that you just saw, he's put up a Halloween. Basically, they, they haven't been asked to take him down yet, but I think there's a reason for that, because they're going to put a Christmas suit on him and he's going to double <laughs> up for Christmas as well. So, as you can see, I like quirky pubs, and this is certainly one of them. And uh, so if you're into Bingley, pop into Chip and Earn. Everything's three pound across the board. So it's all, it's good, so there we go. well priced. <laughs> well, I actually came in the other night, and we had a special night with me, and it was like two, pound, two pounds a pint. Yeah, but that won't be happening again. That worked. What? <laughs> so, oh. it's three pounds a pint. Is that because of me? <laughs> this, this whole bar has been it was salvaged from a church, basically. Not the top. Yeah, this bit. Like this bit here. And then um, we've got instruments as well, so there's lots of instruments. Uh... It's like a serenade the young ladies in here, but unfortunately that's why we're empty, because uh, they've all gone. So get on down to Chip and Earns. Main Street Bingley. You can have a pipe. It's three quid. It's not two, it's not two quid. <laughs> I really wanted to moor in Saltaire and there's just nowhere, there's nowhere free, no moorings free. Yeah, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to stop in Saltaire or Shipley. But um, there's, another, there's another boater over there, so I'll keep them company for a bit. Right, so after mooring just south of Shipley, we're on now, and we're going to try and make it to Appley Bridge. And uh, they've got facilities there, we've hopefully got some shops there. But what, what I really need is a laundrette, because I've got another full washing basket again. <laughs> There is always that pressure when you work during the week and you've got to try and find a, a sensible mooring place so that you can get to your job or whatever. So most weekends during the winter I'm just just trying to crank it to the next spot and uh, try and find somewhere that's got enough decent facilities that I can just carry on with my life as normal or pretend that I've got a normal life anyway. <laughs> We're only going about three miles an hour at the moment, but do you know what? It's a Sunday. I'm going for a Sunday drive. And it's nice, you know? I don't want to be uh, cranking it all the time. Shut up, let's crank it.
Right, it's a special section just for support crew. This time we have got Daryl, welcome. Welcome on board. Uh, thanks for your donation. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, not a donation, but my thanks for that. Next we've got Andy Ball. Andy, thank you very, very much. Uh, you've commented as well saying that I should uh, have a pint and some more coal. Uh, which I've, I've done both, uh, and I've done very well in both departments. And then we've got Dan on the cut. Dan, I don't know your full name, um, but maybe if we say Dan on the cut, you'll get loads and loads of followers uh, on, on Tumblr or uh, social media of your choice. <laughs> you just let me know. You let me know, man. And I'll put it, I'll put it on here somewhere. And this is great. Um, this is one of my oldest friends from... Uh, school nick harling nick thank you so much for your donation i've got to say nick damate titakoi <laughs> which is japanese for shut up and crank it uh because basically nick lives in japan and he told me <laughs> well he also told me it doesn't exactly mean that because they don't have the the words crank it in well they don't have that nuance in the language so it's just shut up and come with me, which uh, actually I prefer, so. Hope you enjoyed that, Nick, and lots of love to you and all your Japanese friends. We've also got Daniel Rolf. Uh, Daniel, thanks so much for sending your donation over. Um, Daniel, you've got the same name as my grandmother, her maiden name, so we could be related some somehow. And finally, Arthur Roy. Arthur, thank you so much, dude. Uh, every single penny goes straight into the pub of the week section, which is, is, is a section that costs a lot of money to produce. Thanks also to Laurie Walter, who sent me this amazing hoodie from America, uh, which I am now living in um, because it's so nice and warm. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. See you next week. Not next week, just, you know, like, uh, whenever I've been bothered to edit the next video. Essentially, isn't it? Bye. Shut up. Let's come with me.